Now that we have the basics of equations of lines and how to graph lines, we consider systems of linear equations and two variables. So what's that? System of equations, so that's just a collection of equations. We have two variables, so normally we'll use x and y. Then linear just says we have no higher powers of x or y. So essentially here, we're just looking at a collection of equations of lines. We're interested in solutions to systems of linear equations. So what does that mean? Well, recall if I had just the equation x plus 2y equal to 4, solution is going to be any point x comma y that makes this statement true. So for instance, if we took 2 comma 1, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So 2 comma 1 is a solution. Then we can go plot that point on the graph to get the picture of the line. Now, for a system of linear equations, a solution is going to have to solve all equations at the same time. So, for instance, if we took 2 comma 1, okay, we have 2 plus 2 is 4, so that's true. Here I have 2 times 2 minus 1, that's a 3, is equal to 3, and that's also true. So 2 comma 1 is a solution to our system of linear equations. That's going to be our focus. We want to find solutions to systems of linear equations if they exist. Now, we'll have two approaches. One will be computational, which means we'll be manipulating equalities. The other will be pictorial, where we look at the graphs. And that's what we do in this talk. So here we do the graphing method. Now, let's check other points. So let's try 4, 0. We know 4 plus 2 times 0 is 4. So solution to the first equation, 2 times 4 minus 0 is equal to 8, which is not equal to 3. So it's not a solution to the second equation. So that means it's not a solution to the system of linear equations that we have. So not a solution. Now, let's put things together by looking at the picture. If we take our equations, Okay, we'll put them in slope-intercept form. So first equation becomes y equal to minus a half x plus 2. Second equation becomes y equal to 2x minus 3. So we could draw these lines. Okay, so for our first one, the intercept's at y equals 2. Slope is minus 1 over 2. So I go down 1 over 2. From our intercept, that brings us to our solution, 2 comma 1. If I do that again, we get to our x-intercept, 4 comma 0. Okay, note these points are on the line, so these three points are going to be solutions to the first equation. For our second line, okay, our intercept is going to be at minus 3. Slope is equal to 2, so 2 over 1, which means I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and that gets me to our point 2 comma 1, which is a solution to the system. Now you'll note 4, 0 was not a solution to the second equation, which means this point here is not on this line here. Now, some things to note about the picture. Okay, our solution is going to be the point of intersection. So that would be what it means to be a solution to both equations. Our point has to be on both lines at once. What can occur with two lines? We have three possibilities. First, if our lines intersect at a single point, then we have a unique solution. So that means there's a single xy that solves both equations at the same time. If we have parallel lines, then they never intersect. So there's no solution to the system of linear equations. Okay, there's no xy that solves both equations at the same time. Finally, if our equations describe the same line, then we'll have infinitely many solutions. So any point on this line will satisfy both equations at the same time. Now, to put this in checklist form, what we'll do, we put both lines in slope-intercept form, okay, so y equals mx plus b. If we have a vertical line, it'll have the equation x equal to a constant, then the slope's undefined. First, we check the slopes. So if the slopes are equal, okay, including vertical lines, so undefined, if the y-intercepts are different, okay, they're parallel and there's no solution, okay, for 
vertical lines, we check the x-intercepts. The intercepts are the same. Then we have the same line, and there are infinitely many solutions. Otherwise, if the slopes are different, then we'll have a unique solution. So it'll be a unique point. Question for here, when we have a unique solution, how do we find it? Now, for this part, we use the graphing method. So that says, take both your lines, graph them to the best of your abilities, take a guess at the point of intersection, and then check your work. Okay, if it doesn't work out, then you have to draw a better picture. Now, for an example, to try x minus two equals two, x plus two equals six. We put them into slope intercept form. So I have y equal to one half x minus one, y equals minus a half x plus three. We check the slopes. The slopes are one half minus a half. These are not equal. So we know we have a unique solution. Now, if we graph the lines, okay, for the first one, our intercept is at minus one. Our slope is a half. So I'm gonna go up one over two, and we'll do that one more time to get to the point four one. For our second line, okay, y-intercept is at three. We have slope minus a half, so I go down one right by two. And again, we'll do that twice to get to the point four comma one. Now, we have our lines. The intercept is at the point four one. We check our work to make sure. So I put this into the original equations. So I have four minus two equals two. That's good. We have four plus two is equal to six. That's good also. So that checks my work. This is our unique solution, four comma one. Now, we'll have more precise methods later on. Okay, quick and dirty here, note. If you want to get this numerically, we've solved for y in both equations. So I could set these equal to each other. If I solve for x, I get a four. Then if I take that four and put it into either equation, I'll get y equal to one, which agrees with our four comma one. But more on that later. Let's try the system. Two x minus y equals four, four x minus two y equals 12. Proceed, we put both equations in slope intercept form. So if y equals two x minus four, y equals two x minus six. Check the slope, the m, and the y-intercept, which comes from the b. So here, both slopes are equal, okay, equal to two. For the b's, we have minus four and minus six. Since these are not equal, we have parallel lines, so there's no solution to this system of linear equations. If I want to check, I can graph the lines, okay, and then we see, in fact, they are parallel. Okay, we have the intercepts, and then slope two, so just go up two over one, and then keep doing that connect the dots. Another example, okay, this will be the case of infinitely many solutions. Okay, have two x minus y equals four, four x minus two y equals eight. Put both equations into slope intercept form. So in this case, they both go to y equals two x minus four. So both equations describe the same line. Now for bookkeeping purposes, okay, both slopes are equal to two. Both b's for the y-intercept are equal to minus four. We have infinitely many solutions. Okay, so we can get those by graphing our line. Okay, so, so intercept for y is at minus four. Go up two over one, up two over one, connect the dots. Now, we have infinitely many solutions. How do we get any of those? Suppose you were asked to list at least two of those. Well, we're just looking for points in this line. So I could just start picking any values for x, find the y, that x, y gives me a solution on the line. So for instance, if I pick x equal to zero, okay, we'll have y equal to minus four. So I have the solution zero comma minus four. I would check that in our original equations. Okay, and then you see what you get. We'll have four equals four, and I also have eight equals eight. So zero minus four checks out take x equal to one. Then going to our equation, I would have y is equal to minus two. So one comma minus two is a solution. We check, we see if the check works out, and then we could just proceed. So I just keep putting in different values for x. I'll get back different values for y. We get a list of solutions. 
We finished with examples using horizontal and vertical lines. Let's consider the system 3y equals 6, x plus y equals 1. We put our equations in slope-intercept form. So I have y equals 2, y equals minus x plus 1. If I want to clarify the slope on y equals 2, I can rewrite that as y equals 0x plus 2. So a horizontal line has 0 slope. Now, if we compare slopes, 0 is not equal to minus 1, so we have a unique solution. To get it, we graph both lines. Okay, we have a horizontal line going through y equals 2. We have y equals minus x plus 1, so the intercept is at y equals 1. Slope is minus 1, so I go down 1, right 1, then connect the dots. For the picture, it looks like the solution is going to be at minus 1, 2. So we check in the original equations. I have 6 equals 6, minus 1 plus 2 equals 1, so that checks out. Finally, do one with a vertical line. So we consider the system x equals 2, x plus y equals 1. We put the second equation in slope-intercept form. So we have x equals 2, y equals minus x plus 1. For the slopes, we have a vertical line, so its slope is undefined. The second line has slope minus 1, and that counts as not being equal. So again, we have a unique solution. To find it, we graph. So I have a vertical line going through x equals 2. We have our line for before. They intersect at the point 2 comma minus 1. I check in the original equations, so I have 2 equals 2. 2 plus minus 1 is 1. That checks out, so we have our answer.